kid in elementary, I used to do um, little mazes and everything for my classmates. I knew I could draw back then, but that wasn't my forte. Once I got into hip hop culture, after the Sugar Hill Gang put out Rapper's Delight and I learned about hip hop as a culture, that's when I started tagging and doing aerosol art. What my art is a, basically a mixture of consciousness and graffiti, coming together, forming a perfect marriage to enlighten and to educate people through street art. So the first painting I ever did was Jimi Hendrix, and the first quote I ever put on the painting was this quote right here. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, then the world will know peace. That's where it all started. So me, I started taking it to wood and to canvas. And oh my God, it was bananas. And oh my God, all of a sudden, I was the last man standing. I started doing art shows. I started giving it to little tiny kids. I started showing them how they could take tagging and make it into something positive. How they could switch it around and they could uplift black and brown. How they could do quotes that were profound that in your history books never can be found. Wow, imagine that. Tony B, pro-humanity and pro-black, Afrocentric, authentic, but doing something for real, not just as a gimmick. So that's what I did. And like I said, it started when I was a kid. And now, hip hop culture and art, well, that's what I live. I live it every day. I do it in this way. Even on the corner of USC in LA, or should I say Jefferson and Hoover, right here, nobody's smoother. Tony B, I'm just simply doing Buddha to try to move you.